Today on Always Hungry, we're gonna be making some grilled octopus with a beautiful romesco sauce and some pearled couscous. Let's go. First thing first, before we get cooking, we gotta take care of this octopus. First thing I like to do is do what I like to call salt bat. Not bat salt, salt bat. Basically what you do is you pour a shitload of salt on your octopus and then with your hands, you wanna get in there and massage it. And what that's gonna do is like kind of like clean it out and like kind of get some of the slimy, nasty, slimy bullshit that you have on your octopus. So yeah, it's like a little pre-treatment before we get cooking and then we'll just rinse it under cold water. So you wanna work that salt and like be very generous, like add some more. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna all the salt, let's go. It's really kind of like a, like a scrubbing, like a scrubbing exfoliating massage, you know? Just thing as like you're exfoli exfoliating your girlfriend's butt or your boyfriend's butt or you know, whoever's butt you wanna rub, I guess. All right, so massage is done. It's time to rinse this bad boy in the sink under cold water. So just rinse away, take all the salt off. Also what we can do here, see this, it's coming out. Oh, that's called a beak, baby. Little birdie. Octopus is clean now, big pot of cold water. We're gonna make a little quick cold bouillon for the uh, octopus. So we're just gonna add some uh, beautiful young onions in there. This I'll just cut in half like this. Boom, in it goes. One lemon. And take slices like this. Boom, boom. One lemon. We'll do one little chili, just cut in half. Voila. One tomato also. Cut in half as well. Boop. We'll do also a red onion. Cut in half as well. Voila. Bay leaves. Garlic head. Just... You know, it's like whatever you have in your fridge is fine. You don't have to like have a exact recipe. If you think it makes sense in there, it probably makes sense. So, organic black peppercorns, baby. I don't know. I would say 25. Whatever you feel like. There you go. Boom. Peppercorn in. Un peu de thym, oui, oui. We're also gonna put some parsley in there, but just the stems. There you go, boom. So now it's pretty much a garden in there, so. <laughs> so while we wait for the water to boil, we're gonna get on the romesco sauce. What's romesco sauce? It's always the same base, roasted red peppers, sometimes tomatoes, fire roasted as well, some garlic, some nuts, you could do almonds, hazelnuts, pine nuts, and sometimes you can have bread in there, some garlic. So yeah, what we're gonna do is just uh, get these beautiful red peppers on the burner. You could do this in the oven if you don't have a, a gas stove. Just like do it like on broil, a bit of oil maybe. And the goal is just to get the, the skin nice and charred and black. And what we're gonna do then is like put this in a bowl to steam to make this peeling job way easier. So right on there. And also, uh, roast the tomato, tomato as well. So we're gonna put tomato on this one here in the front. So nice little, that doesn't work. I'm gonna put a little grill. Let's work better, guys. You know I can do better than that. There you go. Grill in there. Oh, that's fucking hot. Cool. I'm pretty well equipped. <laughs> All right, so tomato on the stove as well. Let's burn this house down! Woo! All right, let's check on our peppers, peppers. Turn them every now and then, and then kind of like, not leave them on the same spot because they're gonna like full on burn, not just the skin. So that's already blistering, see here. And I'm gonna put everything in the food uh, in the blender and then uh, blitz that up, a bit of olive oil, and it's gonna be beautiful. I love cooking, guys. You know, it's so much fun. All right, this is good to go. Tomato is done. What we could do, oh no! What? Hey, we're good. If the alarm doesn't go off, we're not cooking properly. We're gonna also toast some nuts. Hot pan, dry pan, and we're gonna toast these noisette, hazelnuts. There you go. It's nicely charred, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no! So watch these nuts. We don't wanna burn these nuts. Oh, nuts everywhere. Okay, that's cool. Okay, I think our peppers are good to go. I'll show you a little trick to peel your nuts too. Put our nuts right in there. Pew! Close this up like this. And then just like rub, 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 rub. 
and that should luckily get the skin off our hazelnuts. There you go, not too bad, right? Peppers here, put it in a bowl like this, and then we're gonna put a lid right on top and get these peppers to steam. That's gonna make our job way easier when we're gonna peel those. Okay, we have a full boil in the water here. Take our friend, the octopus here, and a little trick we're gonna do is like take it like this, and we're gonna do a few little dips. So you're gonna to go one dip, like this for a few seconds. And what's, what's that doing is like, you're kind of making sure that um, the legs are go going firmer right away. So they're gonna be all separate while cooking. So one dip, see? They're already kind of like uh, curling up. One more dip. Some people do it like five times. I don't know why, I think just three times is more than enough. There you go. Octopus and baby. And now we'll bring this back to a full boil and then we'll put it on the, on the low simmer for 45 minutes, maybe more, we'll see. One little cool trick that I learned, not even sure what it does. People sometimes I think would like uh, put some cherry vinegar right on the bread like this. And then vinegar on the bread and then toast it. I'm really not sure why, but I think it's like an authentic tradition. So we don't get some nice, nice toasty bread on there. That's gonna be also added to the sauce while we blend it. It may sound like a weird combo, nuts, bread, tomatoes, peppers, garlic, but the bread's on fire. Okay, that should be good. Okay, so our peppers should be good now. They've been steaming for a bit. They're probably super fucking hot still. Peppers, one, two, boom. What we're gonna do now is just kind of like uh, with a knife, See, that should peel off pretty easy. It doesn't matter if there's a bit of charred skin left, it's gonna get some, some good flavor. Like just take as much as you can off the peppers like this. All the skin, oh, Juicy Lucy. Got the tip off like this, get all the seeds out, all that bullshit out of there. And there you go, you have a beautiful roasted bell pepper. See, boom. Roasted red peppers, roasted red bell peppers. I'm roasting some red bell peppers. I am roasted. So it's Romesco sauce time. We got everything we need. Our fire roasted tomato, peppers, uh, bread with the vinegar, uh, toasted hazelnuts. And usually you put some garlic in there, some fresh garlic. But I was like, hey, you know what? I have some beautiful pickled ramps in the fridge. We should add some, even like some more, some more vinegary taste in there. Bread, spray that in too. Boom, boom. Tomato, we can even like just leave it in, all, in there whole. Peppers, same thing. Cause you know, why chop it? It's a fucking blender. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna blend. It's gonna take care of the chopping for you. All the nuts in there too. I'll put maybe like, uh, I don't know, let's say one, two, three for a good measure. There you go. Salt and pepper in there as well. Black pepper. We're also gonna add some paprika in there or some say, paprika. <laughs> no one says that. <laughs> Paprika. And then, the best thing in the world. The best olive oil on the planet, pretty much, you know? That's what it is. Link in the bio. And we're blitzing. Smells pretty good. Okay, so test check, you know, the seasoning, see how it tastes. Oh wow, this is fucking fire. Oh baby, you know, it's like, that's a victory. Little victories, you know? This is crazy, bro. Taste this shit, it's insane. Mmm. <laughs> no waste, baby, no waste. This is so fucking good, eh? There you go. Sauce is good to go. Oh, nice. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. It's not a sponsored ad. <laughs> Pearl couscous is not like the regular couscous. You don't want to like uh, just pour some water on there because it's not going to be cooked. Couscous time. This is boiling. Perfect. Put some salt in there. Don't be an asshole like me using flour to set. I'm just lazy. Couscous. There you go. Put the whole thing in there. Woo. Okay. You need to shut up, sir. Okay. I had just enough of you. I'm just gonna go strain this. Uh, there you go. Boom. Beautiful. 
Perfectly cooked couscous first try, baby. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the couscous right in that bowl here. There you go. I'm gonna add some oil right away. Just a little bit there. So it doesn't get stuck in a big pile of couscous. Just like mix it up, there you go. We're gonna add some fresh parsley. Roll it into a little cigar. I'm gonna do a little fine chop like this. A little chop chop in. Nice little fine dice on there. There you go. Right in there. So zest of one lemon. There you go. Maybe I'll do half a lemon. Fuck, you know what? Also, I also think I'm gonna put some pickled ramps in there too. I go there, there. All right, so wild ramps in there. Paprika. Thanks to the homie Maddie for the beautiful pepper shaker. Pepper meal. It's pepper meal. Some salt. You know your boy. To mix this up. The most important thing, guys, is always to taste as you go. Mmm. Hello? It's awesome, but I think we need some more freshness in there. So, little cucumber is gonna be perfect for this. Some nice long strips like this. This for me. Mmm. Mmm. This. This. And then we're just gonna turn this around. Some nice little cucumber dices. Just gonna add this to our bowl. I think that's gonna be pretty fucking good. Okay, so it's been over 45 minutes now. So it should be tender to the touch. At the touch, how do you say? Tender to the touch, just like you are. And then we're just gonna take a leg here and see. Oh, it's pretty fucking hot, but it feels pretty soft, so I think we're good to go. Okay, okay. So here on a resting tray. I'm gonna let this cool down because it's way too hot to be uh, handled. Okay, octopus has cooled down a little bit. Good to handle. We're just gonna cut the legs from the body here. Boom, that's one leg there. It's one leg there. One leg there. That should be eight. <laughs> because you know, octo, octo jokes. I'm gonna add some a beautiful uh, olive oil. Laurent Dagenet oil, obviously. Because uh, what else? Some salt, paprika, a bit of parsley on there. Just gonna chop some roughly. It's kind of like the Portuguese style, you know? Brown there. Also a bit of lemon zest on there. Grilled parsley, grilled lemon, the octopus, paprika. Just comes together nicely. Rub this with our hands nicely. Make sure everything is like coated. This is beautiful, guys. And I'm gonna put these things right on our very, very hot griddle here. Oh, that sound is good, baby. The alarm is definitely gonna go off. Woohoo! You can even use this thing to get a nice little char. There you go. This is cooking, baby! You can flip it multiple times, you know, it's like get some nice crust going. Why am I cooking so good? It's smoking in here, baby. This is how we do it. Oh, yeah. Octopus is good when it's crispy outside and soft inside. If it's not grilled properly, I don't want it. I don't want it. There we go, we have a beautiful color on everything. Thing is nicely charred. Oh yeah, look at that. That drill is fucking fantastic, by the way. Fucking top notch. All right, this can go on here. I'm back in the same tray with the oil and the parsley, that's perfect. And it's plating time. Just before, listen to this. Is that a nice crisp or what? Little base of this beautiful Romesco sauce. Not Romanesco, guys, Romesco sauce. Good amount, there we go. I'm gonna do a little Little nest, if you will. We got some couscous in there. Just in the middle like this. I'm gonna be so fucking bomb. And then we're just gonna put maybe, I would say, you know what? One piece. Do a bit of lemon juice on there. Oh yeah, bummer. 
lemon zest as well. Nice little drizzle of olive oil on top to bring everything together. This is fucking beautiful. And here you have it. So here you go, octopus. Tasting time. I like the small part of the tail here because it's like the, the crispier usually. Oh yeah, check this thing out. That camera, that camera, that camera, and she's going in. Mm. 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 This is so fucking good. Dude, this is fucking nuts. Mmm, mmm. It's a match made in heaven. And here we are, baby. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I had a really good time shooting this real octopus with the couscous, the romesco sauce. I hope you can make it at home and tell me if you liked it. Until then, subscribe, like the post, comments, all that shit. Ring that bell for notifications. I love you. I'll see you on the next episode of Always Hungry. Peace.